All right, this is Mr. Tiberi. This is another Elgin High School Auto Shop video. We're going to take a look here. We've got a battery that's removed from a vehicle. So this is my battery right here. Easy and simple enough. Okay, this battery is in fact a top post battery. Okay, we can see we got terminals on the top. And this is what's referred to as a serviceable battery because we have these caps that are located on here. We can take these caps off and we can service each individual cell. We can check the uh, battery acid content in there. And we can fill it up if we need to with uh, distilled water. Okay, but we're not going to mess with that today. Uh, what we're going to take a look at is how to use the VAT40 with a battery that's removed from a car. And you know what? To be honest, it's the exact same thing as if the battery was in the car. So we're going to take a quick look. This video is going to be just short and sweet. Okay? We take our two leads, positive to positive, negative to negative. So we're going to take our positive, it goes right here to our positive terminal on our battery. Try to swing that around so hopefully it might be able to get a little bit of a view. And then my negative, I connect it directly to my negative terminal. Okay? Easy and simple enough. We got a meter reading right here. So we're showing right around 12.6 volts, which is a great reading. Okay? So now we're going to take our amp clamp. My amp clamp right here is going to go right around either one positive or we can use the negative. So since I got the uh, negative wire right here, I'm just going to go ahead and use that one. I'm going to take the arrow. If I'm using the negative wire, I'm going to use the arrow pointing away from the battery. If I use the positive, the arrow would point towards the battery. Okay. So arrow pointing away, it's on the negative side. We're going to double check, make sure our zero is totally adjusted. At this point, I'm going to kind of try to zoom in a little bit right on the uh, VAT40 machine. One second. Right about there. Again, we're going to take a look. My test selector is in the starting position, so turn it far left. I know the arrow's uh, broken on there, but just turn it all the way to the left and you'll be good. We're going to read the red scale up top. We're going to read the blue or uh, green scale up top on my voltmeter. Okay? Uh, the battery is cold cranking amp rating. Uh, this one is 525 cold cranking amps. So we're going to divide that in half, which is right around call it 260 because 250 would be roughly well 250 would be 500 so 260 would be 520 so that'll work out perfect so that five we're not going to worry about so we're going to load test this all the way up to uh, to our 260 amps so if i take a look and i want to find that mark on the scale so here's my 200 so that one notch is 220 240 and then 260 so it's two notches away from the 300. So it should jump to the right, but if it goes to the left, not a big deal. Once I get to that mark, I'm gonna hold it for roughly about seven seconds. And then I'm gonna jump down and I'm gonna stare at my bolt gauge. I wanna make sure that this needle right here does not go below 9.6. It's gotta to stay to the right of 9.6. So we're gonna go ahead and load. Needle's jumping to the left. We're going to go all the way to that 260 mark. We're almost there, almost there. Hold it for about seven seconds. Nope, needle's going past. Boom, turn it off. So you saw my needle down here, my volts, go all the way to the eight, okay? So that right there, no good. But that needle didn't jump down really fast, okay? So that's all right. That means we're gonna have to recharge our battery, so. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to condemn the battery. I'm not going to say that the battery is bad at this point in time. I'm just going to really say that we have to recharge this battery and then retest it. Okay. Uh, what I am going to do now is I'm going to bring up a battery that's dead, and we're going to take a look at what a really, really bad battery is going to look like. Okay. Another battery. It's an AC Delco battery. Um, you know ran a perfectly good life so it was in a vehicle for about six years nothing wrong uh, but we're going to take a look at what it looks like when that battery is completely shot i mean this one's really bad so let's take a zoomed up look first thing we need to notice on this one my voltage where is my battery voltage at okay it is at 10 volts right now that's not looking too good if it was at 12.6 that would give this battery a little bit of a better chance, okay? The cold cranking amp reading on this battery is 600. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna load test it to 300 amps. 
So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and turn my dial again. I'm going to watch my gauge and I'm going to see it go all the way over to the 300 mark and then pay close attention to my voltage. I don't want it to go below 9.6, but judging on that right now, it seems like it's going to be pretty inevitable. I'm go ahead and load this up. And I'm maxed out on a load and my voltage is at zero and off. All right, that is confirmed 100% dead battery, okay? And chances of you seeing a battery like this inside of a car, pretty slim, okay? That's gonna happen like this. Usually it gradually falls off, not that rapid, okay? That would be a scenario of a battery that just sat in the car for months on end connected and just slowly drained itself out completely, okay? Our amps didn't even budge to the left. Okay, it fluttered a little bit, but ultimately, hardly any movement. So that is 100% dead battery. It needs to be replaced, can't be used. Okay? Alright, thanks for watching.